Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone. This is Professor CC19, and instead of embarrassing myself by singing like I did two years ago, I'll simply say today is December 24th, 2019, Christmas Eve, day 14 of the 15 Days of Christmas Countdown. And today we are playing level 1399 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 20 moves to collect two ingredients, one cherry and one hazelnut. Before we get started, I put out new videos almost every day. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Especially the special finale of the 15 Days of Christmas Countdown, Day 15, Christmas Day, which is tomorrow. This has gone by so quickly. Now on this level, we have two ingredients here, and we need to get them here. And the way to do that is to strike them with stripes, vertical from up above or horizontal from this section over on the far right portion of the board, which is probably going to be less likely. So I'm going to probably, uh, shouldn't say probably twice, I am going to focus mostly on going for vertical stripes in this larger area up above. Once we remove the marmalade, the ingredients can go through portals to the far left two columns, and then we'll be carried by the conveyor belts over to the right, up and over, and when they hit these three columns, we have to drop them down to the place that is not moving below the conveyor belts and then collect them. It's all pretty intricate. We have to be careful not to drop the ingredients too far down because it'll take a long time for them to go back up the conveyor belt. We also have to be careful not to let them to go, uh, let them go too far on the board because if they get past our drop zone above this void here, it takes a really long time for them to come back round. Now, this is my third playthrough for recording purposes. Yes, I do have a color bomb. It's part of a free reward I had for uh, playing in the Fantastic Five. But that's just going to add to the fun. And also, this is the last day we're going to get to see red and green for Christmas colors. So let's enjoy it. Let's start by taking out all green. This should concentrate the colors down and give us, hopefully, some more specials right away. So we have a horizontal stripe that's blue. That color bomb was a great start, a great opportunity for me. Now I can create a vertical stripe with the orange. Now if that sticks around... Ooh, I actually like that even better. I don't really follow conveyor belts too well if there's more than one. And it looks like this one maybe corresponds with this, the one in the middle with this part in the middle, and the innermost one with the outermost one. Maybe it's backwards for those outer two. I don't know. But I do like potential for a stripe wrap combo because it will strike this hazelnut and get the marmalade gone. I'm not sure about the cherry, but I think for certain it will do it for the hazelnut. So I'm going to drop that orange stripe down one. Oh, I almost forgot about the ticking time bombs. Yeah, we have ticking time bombs set at five on this board that we have to contend with. So it's probably going to be better not to forget about those. Um, yeah, the stripe ramp combo, I don't see any way it can hit this cherry unless we try to be really delicate and have it tick over some. You know what? In two moves, the wrapped candy will be here and the striped candy will be here. And that would get both of our ingredients uncovered. So what I'm going to try to do is let them go without disturbing that so we can open both up at the same time. I'm going to try to get that to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen for sure, but... I think by making really small movements far away like this. Also, we took care of that ticking time bomb, which was important. We can get this to stick around. Now, this is even better. We can take out this bomb and open both our ingredients. And with 15 moves left, that is quite an advantage to have. All right, so they're through the portals. They're on the top part of the conveyor belt. I want to drop them down a little bit, but not too far. So I'm just going to use a horizontal stripe. That's a good means of doing it. Let's drop the cherry down one more. There we go. Now it's on the area where it's stationary. It's not moving, and unless we scooch it over, it's going to be safe. Right now, we can collect it. So that's our first ingredient collected. We just need to do the same thing or have the same thing happen with our hazelnuts. I'm going to take out that four... And we get a five. 
Uh, <laughs> see, that's kind of the hard thing about this. When it starts just going down naturally via cascading, we can't really control that. Send off that stripe, trying to stop disturbing it, but it just keeps happening. All right, I think this turn should be good. There we go. Make a move far away, trying not to, dis to disturb it anymore. Now that it's ticked over one, I want it to come down a little bit. So we're going to do that. We're going to do it once more. Now it's over my drop zone, and I can collect it. All right, so that is how we beat level 1399. It was a big turnaround from yesterday, level 1398, which was really, really not nice. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, three attempts. Once you have the ingredients free of the marmalade, it becomes easier to make progress on the board, but also becomes more frustrating because they can keep sliding down. If you can get them in the drop zone before they tick around, you should be able to beat it. If they go past the drop zone, with the moves you have, it's almost an instant failure, so be very watchful of that. So that is Christmas Eve. That is day 14. If you found this video helpful and or fun and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said earlier, tune in to day 15, our finale, something very special, where we play level 1400, the final day of our Christmas countdown, and we're getting very close to the end of 2019. We just started a year with my number in it, and it's about to come to an end, so um, hopefully we'll have one more special thing before the end of the year. But yeah, tune in tomorrow for level 1400. If you are stuck on any other level of the game, leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great Christmas. It's tomorrow. It's it's right here. Yeah. Merry Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas.